So I decided to make miniature ceramic ball peen hammers just for fun. This is how I did it. So you might be wondering where you get the model to make a, a hammer. And in truth, it was not that easy. I thought I could 3D scan an existing hammer and it, I could not get it to turn out the way I wanted. And my last resort was turning to Tinkercad and assembling it using common shapes. But in truth, uh, it turned out pretty good. The holes that I put into the 3D model uh, were intended for alignment pins. Uh, in the end, I didn't use it. But alignment pin holes on a match mold plate are very difficult to add later. So if you think you might need them, you should put them into your model and cut them at the time. So I let the clay sit in the mold for a few hours until it stiffened and started to pull away and it removed quite cleanly. I have some texture I need to deal with with a sponge. I think it's pretty good. The, the only issue being that it's kind of an oval shape, not quite as perfectly round as I'd hoped, but give me a break. So when I glaze these, I'll wipe off the ends because I really don't think that having glaze on the surfaces that are going to take an impact is a good idea. Uh, it's likely to make it more fragile. I did them in several colors and you can see here I simply molded up clay and making my own kiln furniture to hold them through firing. Honestly, it worked pretty good. So I mix up a small amount of epoxy and glue it onto its pencil handle. So here's the finished hammer. Obviously the next thing we need to do is take it to the anvil, see what it can do. Of course, beating on metal is ridiculous, and that's the reason why. I hope you liked the video, and if you're one of the few people who really want to have one of these hammers, check my website in about a week. Thanks. Mm -hmm.